Welcome. Today, we are diving into a really fascinating mystery, one that's right at the heart of modern artificial intelligence. We're going to ask a simple question. Why aren't these massive, world-changing AI systems getting hacked? I mean, really, think about it. You've got systems like ChatGPT, Claude. They're being plugged into our most critical infrastructure. They're handling incredibly sensitive data, and they're valued at billions of dollars. Logically, they should be the number one target for every single hacker on the planet. And yet, what do we hear? Nothing. A strange, deafening silence. There are no headlines about an AI's core memory being stolen or its fundamental goals being twisted by some bad actor. So what is going on here? You know, to figure this out, we're going to borrow a page from the master detective himself, Sherlock Holmes. He realized the most important clue is often not something that happened, but something that didn't happen. The dog that didn't bark in the night. Well, for us, the AI didn't get hacked. The absence of that event that's the key that's going to unlock this entire mystery for us. Okay, so to understand why our AI dog isn't barking, we first have to understand what a bark even sounds like in this context. Let's take a quick look at the anatomy of a real hack so we know exactly what we're looking for, or in this case, what we're not seeing. So here's the formal textbook definition of hacking, but the key phrase here, the one that matters most for our investigation, is persistent state. All that means is something that sticks around over time. You know, like a database holding your private info or your social media profile, that's always there. Hacking is all about attacking that persistent thing. If nothing persists, well then there's literally nothing for a hacker to grab onto. And boom, this table just lays it all out, crystal clear. You see a pattern here, right? Systems that have a persistent state, like a crypto ledger that tracks who owns what, or a database with all your private messages, they get hacked all the time. But then you look at large language models, the AI we're talking about, and what do you see? No persistent state. And what do you know? They don't get hacked. This is our first major clue. It's a huge one. And that clue points us directly to the suspect's perfect alibi. In this case, it's the AI's ironclad defense against being hacked. And it all comes down to its core design, its fundamental architecture. So here's the absolute heart of the matter. Large language models are stateless. What does that mean? It means they have no memory, no continuous self. It's got a while to think about, but for every single prompt you type in, a brand new, fresh instance of the AI is created out of thin air, it generates an answer for you, and then, poof, it's completely destroyed. Nothing, and I mean nothing, carries over from one moment to the next. And hey, you can prove this yourself with a really simple test. Go ask an LLM a basic fact. Then, ask it something completely different, totally unrelated. Now, go back and ask it that first question again you'll see that your second question had absolutely zero impact on the third answer. Why? Because the system has no memory of the conversation between your prompts. Architecturally, it's impossible. And here it is. This is the mathematical proof of the AI's perfect alibi. This little equation is the cold, hard, technical reason why you can't hack an AI. Now, I know it looks a little intimidating, but trust me, what it means is actually pretty straightforward. Let's break it down. The idea behind this equation is actually super simple. All it's saying is that the change, that's the little delta symbol, in the system's internal state, that's U, over any amount of time, that's T, is zero, zilch. It's the nerdy mathematical way of saying exactly what we've been talking about. The AI has no memory, nothing persists. And if nothing persists, there's nothing to hack. Case closed. All right, so if the AI itself is basically unhackable, what about all those stories you hear about jailbreaking and prompt injection? Well, this is where our investigation uncovers a classic case of mistaken identity. These things people are calling hacks, they aren't hacks at all. Okay, first up, jailbreaking. People love to say they're hacking the AI, but what's really going on? You're just being clever with your words. You're phrasing your question in a specific way to get a different kind of answer. It's not a security breach. It's like asking a librarian for books on advanced chemistry instead of how to make explosives. You didn't hack the librarian, you just asked a better question. And it's the same deal with so-called prompt injection. This isn't some sneaky attack. It's literally the system working as intended. The model is built from the ground up to have later text influence the overall pattern of the output. You're not hijacking anything. You're just giving it input and it's responding. That's its core feature, not some secret backdoor. So we've cleared our main suspect. The AI model itself is innocent. It's architecturally incapable of being hacked. But that doesn't mean no crimes are being committed. It just means we've been looking in the wrong place this whole time. So now let's head over to the real crime scene. 
See, the real risk is in the AI core. It's the wrapper application that's built around it. Your chat history, that's stored in a totally normal, hackable database. Your user account, handled by a standard authentication system. All these pieces, the API, the web interface, they're just regular web components. And you better believe they can be hacked using the same old tricks hackers have been using for decades. This table just makes the whole distinction perfectly clear. On one side, you have wrapper hacking. Can someone steal your chat history from a database? Absolutely, that's a standard web hack. But on the other side, corrupting the AI's memory? Impossible, it doesn't have one. Hijacking its goals? Nope. Taking over the AI entity? There is no entity to take over. Every real AI hack you've ever heard of is just a classic boring hack of the wrapper. The AI model itself is left completely untouched. So we've solved it. The reason the AI dog never barked is because, in a very real architectural sense, there is no dog. There is no persistent thing there to attack in the first place. The AI hack is a phantom menace. And that leaves us with one final, and I think, very important question to chew on. If this specific threat is imaginary, who exactly benefits from all the hype, all the fear, and all the security theater? Who benefits from selling us a story about a dangerous dog that was never even there?